I get asked a lot on how they can start web design and how they can be good at it, especially for those who have zero knowledge or currently graphic designers want to shift into web design field. Hey guys, this is friends. So today I'm going to share three effective techniques on how you can start practicing your web design journey and eventually be an expert and come up with your own style. Let's go. So the first technique is to search. So what you're going to do here is to search or start looking for simple web designs from different creative sources like on Behance, Dribbble, Pinterest, Awards, or any sites that you can get inspirations from. So once you select one design that you like, save it or just screenshot it to your computer. So start with the basic, the simplest design that you can find. So next technique is to copy. And the third and last technique is to create or recreate the design and layout as is. So you can use tools like Figma or Adobe XD to recreate the design. I recommend Figma because it's free and it's easy to use. So just be sure guys to pick a design that you know you can copy or recreate on your own. Okay, so just to be clear and for those who will think that this is cheating, it's not. Unless you consider it as your own creation, so that is plagiarism. Okay kids? So the goal here is not just to learn everything about the design you're creating, but also how it was created. So what do I mean by that? So you'll think at first that copying a design will be easier, but as you go along the process of recreating it on yourself, you will realize and gradually learn the details and every aspects of the layout and the artwork you're working on. So from the margins, paddings, the font used, colors, sizes of the images, and so on. So from this original layout and design, you can now create your own version. So play around with it and repeat the steps as needed until your own unique style emerges. So once you get the hang of it, there's no limit on how creative your version can be. So you can also publish this as a concept project, but just to be sure to credit the original designer who created that design. So it may not seem like much, but with each step forward in your learning process, you are improving little by little. So remember that designing a website should be fun. So don't let the process get too serious. Okay, so I hope you learned something on this video and next time we are going to discuss more about the UX and UI in simplest way so everyone can understand and follow along. So don't forget to smash the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more web design tips and tutorials. See you on the next one. Bye!